Hi guys, how are you doing? How are you this afternoon? My name is Modoni Mukirin Joroge. I am a personal development and mindset coach. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We are all about emotional and mental wellness. Today we have an interesting topic. Things you can consider when dating a baby daddy. You're a single woman, you're out here, you're looking for love. And then you find this nice, good looking, maybe he checks your list guy. And but... He has kids from his previous relationship or with a f previous fiance or from whatever. He just has kids and he has responsibilities to his children. What are some of the things you can consider so as not to get hurt, so as not to be caught up in the drama and so as not to waste your time? Yeah, so let's get right into it. Number one. The first thing to consider is the number of kids he has. If someone has six children, even if it's with three baby mamas, run for your life. It means... For example, if you're looking for something serious, you want to date with a purpose, you're planning on getting married, it means whatever you make, like six children are waiting for that, you know, are waiting for him to provide. And and also another thing when it comes to kids, if he has four kids with four different women, you will be the fifth one and he will move on to others. So the number of kids matters. If he has five kids, six kids, or and especially if you don't have a child, you don't have a child of your own and then you meet a man with five six kids or with four kids with different women maybe that he was married at first afterwards he dated somebody and got her pregnant in the first marriage maybe he had two kids and then it's a total of three four kids run i would tell you to run uh it's it's gonna be baggage and let me also say one thing no child wants a stepmom no child wants a stepmom. So especially, you know, two you can deal. But especially if they're more than three, the ba the baggage that comes with that, yeah? Another thing, the second thing is the circumstance for the separation. If he was with a fiancé and they had two babies and now they're no longer together, what was the reason for separation? Probably it was violence. Probably he was not responsible. Probably he just wanted his freedom. Probably he was he's not ready for a family. Probably he even cheated. It doesn't have to be him. It could be the other partner. So that's why I'm saying please find out the reason for the separation and also understand the past predicts the future whatever happened in the past whatever he did it's very possible he could do it over again or whatever happened ask questions find out what was the reason for the separation and find out is he remorseful does he feel bad losing his family did he do uh, anything to try to salvage the that thing time between his breakup and your relationship if that man left his wife or they broke up six months ago and you're here and he's telling you oh let's do this people get back together maybe it's someone they were with for five years for six years and they had babies together and you just met after four months of them separating even a year what will people sometimes people separate and get back together we say what will rudiana they could get back together so if maybe uh, they separated a couple of like two three years ago at least you have some confidence in that. But if it's too soon, chances are maybe they're just taking a break and they're going to get back together. So also consider that. Another thing to consider is boundaries. Some of these baby daddy, baby mama relationships come with a lot of drama. Are there boundaries in place? Does the baby mama call any time of the night? She calls at night. She calls any time demanding for money. The man goes uh, to the baby mama's house whenever he wants. You know, I'm just going to see the kids. Oh, I slept there on Wednesday to see... I went there to see the kids on Wednesday and I slept there. Oh, we're actually going on a picnic with the baby mama and the kids. We're going to take the kids somewhere. If there are no boundaries, if he doesn't have specific days for seeing the children, if they, there are no boundaries where the other partner knows this one has moved on, they're dating, and I cannot call them at night, I cannot just call them demanding for money and those things. If there are no boundaries in place, if she just shows up uh, at his house whenever, if she just calls 24-7, if there's a lot of drama and there's no boundaries, nanima to see na wo 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 na kupele kana police, if it's just insults, you're taking each other to the police and all that, my sister, do not get caught up in that drama. Choose yourself and choose your peace and choose to sleep at night. It's not your drama. Don't get involved. Run for your life. 
another thing is respect is there respect when it comes to both parties you know there are baby mamas who know you are dating their baby daddy and they want to show you i was there first huh? they do not respect they have no respect they don't respect anything they don't respect time they don't respect if you're on a date they can just show up anywhere is there respect even between the two partners also the guy you want to date does that guy respect the baby mama how does he talk about her how does he behave when you start talking about children about family about those things find out is there respect between the baby daddy and the baby mamas or with the baby mama how is the situation because if there's no respect between us don't think you're gonna be respected this is what i say sometimes when we're going into new relationships we think we are special we are special my sister you're special yes you're special to your father to your mother to your friends and to people who know you but to a strange man you are just a strange woman you're just a stranger so if he's not respecting women who've given birth to his babies if he's not respecting women who lived with him for those years or who are really taking care of his offspring what makes you think he'll respect you yeah so consider also respect another thing to consider is if there is a custody battle if you you met a guy you're getting to know him and then he's telling you you know what we're going to court you know we're going to feed her we're going to wear we're going to social worker about the kids and everything you know what take a break tell him you know what you deal with this your issues when it's done we can have this conversation don't get caught up in the drama and then they start going to court and then they decide you know what uh, because the woman lives far away she'll be traveling with the babies to spend at the baby daddy's house for a whole five days or for a whole weekend where does that leave you and we know let me just say this not all baby mamas some baby mamas are usually a free pass to sex for the baby daddy like they feel i've had three babies with this guy why so why should i deny him if you want i give him some have that attitude so if you're a single woman maybe you have your child somewhere or you're just even without a child and you want to date a baby daddy and there's custody battle with the ex-wife or the ex-fiance or whoever let it first calm down let them finish and then now if there's if you want to pick it up you can but don't get caught up in the drama choose yourself you don't have to do it and don't be so scared to lose someone who you don't, you've not even had in your life who you just met and they have a whole lot of baggage and a whole lot of drama coming with them number seven if that guy keeps trashing his baby mama he keeps trashing his fiance or whoever it is they had children with he keeps saying oh you know you know what they say oh she just got pregnant she just wanted me she's so silly, blah blah she's not my type she's not even to my standard she doesn't even it's not even a good mother blah 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 if that person keeps trashing the baby mama he's gonna trash you too you're gonna be next yeah like i said you are special but to a stranger you're also a stranger so if he's trashing somebody else they're also gonna trash you and that is one of the uh, rules about dating when you're dating someone and then they keep talking shit about their ex don't think you're the angel they, they someone can't just have all good they also have their good side yeah so if they keep trashing their baby mamas and talking shit about them in your presence and to you they will also do the same thing to you number eight and this is so important but they should have been top number five if he makes you feel like you're number two and that's really i've dated baby a baby daddy before and if he makes you feel like you're number two if he makes you feel like you're another option if he makes you feel like you belong to the side shows to the corner and now you know how sometimes maybe after they separated he's still in his mind he's still tangled and still he's still a family man deep down as much as they're not together and he thinks that's his family and you're number two if you feel like an, a second option you feel number two walk out that door you don't deserve to feel number two and you don't deserve to be anybody's second choice you know that's what some there are those who have boundaries that there are those who have boundaries there are those who know by the way they are married i was married and it ended and now my obligation is only to the ch children that's it we have an arrangement i go pick them during the weekend i go to the school games or whatever whatever that's it 
and there are those who wants to make you feel you know my all my kids come first you know i i, I don't have time um, to spend with you during the weekend because i'll be spending time with the kids every every weekend he doesn't have time for you every other time it's about the kids do not become anybody's second option and do not try uh, let someone make you feel your number two when you have a chance to feel number one with someone else take your time take your time when you meet someone especially someone who was married or had an arrangement with someone and they had children so they still have an obligation to that family and they still talk to that other woman take your time don't rush with this person and then you start becoming another baby mama and you start issues you know one step at a time if they rush you of course chances are they're gonna rush you so you don't have time to see the drama and to see through them don't rush take your time one step at a time uh, get to know them ask the right questions don't start jumping stages you know the stages of dating don't jump do yourself the due diligence and actually this is the time you really need to be all that careful because he he still talks to his ex he still maybe sees her a lot and has to deal with her so it's that that's that's the time you need, really need to look out for yourself you really need to ask yourself questions to observe so you can give yourself the best number 10 if you're a single person and probably you want to date someone serious you're probably thinking about marriage and kids in the near future maybe probably if you're in your 30s or late 20s or mid 30s and you're thinking me the next guy i'm dating in a year in two years i want us to talk about marriage i want us to maybe uh get married and start having kids let me tell you some of these baby daddies who's had who have had kids before don't want that talk they don't some of them don't want that talk and they know some of them you know how sometimes you meet a, a single lady uh, maybe a single mother who will tell you i've had three children i don't want any more children some baby daddies are also the same but men don't talk about that much because they know they'll scare you away yeah so find out if you want the same thing probably he's had four kids and you're a single woman you don't even have a child probably he doesn't want more kids or probably if you're thinking of having three kids probably he wants if he wants maybe one more and probably he's not even thinking about a church wedding or a formal wedding because maybe he's done it in the past yeah ask questions don't date people who don't want the same things you do because you will never change anybody this is what we do you find a guy and he wants the complete opposite of what you want whether you want to get married you want a family you want kids this guy has done all those things so he's not looking for that he's looking for her for fun and to have a good time so you tell yourself you know what even if he doesn't want want kids now i can change his mind i you know i can help him see i'm wife material i can help him i can help him see i'm not his ex my sister you are lying to yourself you can never change anybody and i always say consider how hard it is to change yourself so you can stop thinking you could change someone who doesn't think even they have anything to change for or they need to change so those are what i came up with those are 10 things to consider look out for yourself yeah and especially if someone has had maybe he was married they have they had two kids he got a girlfriend got her pregnant so that's another kid and he's single now he probably is the problem ask questions study him don't just meet a guy you know some of these baby daddies already are not very young so some of them has have good financial bearings and they have their most of them are financially stable and then you become lied to because they can be able to provide for you do yourself the due diligence ask questions find out listen to how they talk about these women are there boundaries and another thing chances are they could get back together especially you see someone at you you know we're together for 10 years we had three children and then they just broke up like what a year ago chances are they could get back together so look out for yourself it's your job to take care of yourself and it's your job to give yourself the best don't start saying you know i didn't know now you know and if you're dating a baby daddy and you're feeling number two like your second option and he goes to spend at his baby mama's or she comes over and there are no boundaries and take you know take a minute and think about it think about what you've gotten yourself into or what you're getting yourself into so anybody deserves love baby daddies deserve love and if you find a good man maybe he had two children from a previous relationship or whatever his situation is and he learned his mistakes and he's willing to move on and to love and to settle down and to give you his his everything 
then give him a chance. The fact that someone has children does not mean they don't deserve a chance at love. At the same time, watch out for yourself. So bye guys, I wish you all the best. And if you're dating a baby daddy, please let us know how it goes. If you got married to someone who had, who had kids before, how is it? What advice would you give to other ladies who are looking at it? And what should we look out for? What's the good thing about it? And if you married a baby daddy who had previous uh, lots of kids before and uh, it's going on well and you're happy you did it, please write down at the comment section. I also know something that I've not mentioned. Nobody wants to be a stepmother and no child also wants a stepmom. At the same time, it's workable so long as they, there are boundaries, there is respect, but it takes a lot. So anyway, bye guys. I wish you a wonderful afternoon.